that, that, that the man, the, com the comforter, he, he is not able to come. Hallelujah. But when the comforter comes, he will reprove the world of sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we do something and we, we, we don't even think about it, but there's a little person within us that is saying, no man, you know, say that never call for, you shouldn't do that. You know, nudging your spirit and sometimes it, he's called the conscience. He speaks to your conscience and sometimes when you're, you're, you're not paying much attention. And he's there and say, no man, you know, say that little wrong. And you feel a way, you know, you know that is the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit speaking to us, convicting us of sin. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, the source of the Christian's power, regenerates. Hallelujah. Titus chapter 3 and verse 5, it restores renews not by work of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy hallelujah he saves us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the holy spirit hallelujah look at the potter's house when when the, the Spirit of God took the Jeremiah down to the potter's house and showed him a working on a wheel. When the potter was marred, the pot was marred, the pottery was marred in the potter's hand. He didn't just say, show me our whole heap of clay. I have a whole lot of clay. He fashioned it again hallelujah into another vessel a vessel worthy of honor can we bless the name of the lord that is the work of the holy spirit the source of the christian's power can we bless the name of the lord can we praise the name of the lord hallelujah the word of the lord tells me hallelujah that the Holy Spirit is powerful. Not was powerful. Is powerful and still is powerful. And it is still important for us to receive the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, we all may heard of, hear about Samaria. Pete and um, Philip, you know, after the church was scattered abroad and people start to run because of the threatenings and the persecutions that were going on. The gospel began to spread amidst the persecution. The gospel, the good news, them never run with any prosperity message. They run with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who walked among men and who was crucified. Hallelujah. This same Jesus who, who, who you, you spit on. Treated him badly. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit was with the apostles. Hallelujah. Philip went down to a place known as Samaria. And he started to give the story. They were all over the place. They had to be scattered abroad. Hallelujah. He started to tell them what happened. Probably meet with a little group and he said, you, you know, Jesus, have you ever heard of Jesus Christ? And they might say, yeah, man, we, we hear one little something of one, you know, but, you know, tell us more. And he started to tell them about Jesus and how Jesus Christ suffered. Jesus walked among men and he healed the sick. He raised the dead. Blind eyes were open. Hallelujah. And the miracles that were done. Bless the name of the Lord. And because of the authenticity of the power of the Holy Spirit. A genuine something. It reaches the hearts of man. 
it pulls man hallelujah to God so Samaria received the word they did not only hear it because many people hear the word of God but it just got through one ears but Samaria received the word hallelujah can we bless the name of the Lord can we praise the name of Jesus when Samaria received Jesus the word the gospel the good news of Jesus Christ they gave their hearts to him hallelujah 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 after they gave their hearts to him they were baptized and the Bible tells me about a man known as Simon many of us call him Simon the sorcerer hallelujah the obia man down at Samaria hallelujah who used sorcery and allowed hallelujah allowed the people to think that it was the power of God hallelujah hallelujah we are talking about the Holy Spirit the source of the Christians power hallelujah hallelujah no Simon him same save everybody I get saved Simon Dolly Pat look like it's a mashup so him say let me come over the side here too because that's something I look real hallelujah 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 Simon to believe he was also baptized but him never change him never change the Bible tells me that when Jerusalem the apostles that means that means that means that means it was a revival and people started hearing something Aguana Alison something is going on down at Samaria hallelujah hallelujah something is going on something great it reached the apostles at Jerusalem hallelujah that's something the Gentiles receive the word of God so they sent down they sent down Peter and John hallelujah hallelujah probably Peter hallelujah get another dose so he was sent down to lay hands and pray for them that they may receive the Holy Ghost but I realize today that many of us we're not fussy really fussy again you know we don't look at the importance of receiving the power for service we're not effective if we don't have the power we just make a wall up a noise and then after the noise I saw it go we are not effective without the power the power of the Holy Spirit brings boldness to proclaim the word of God can we praise the Lord praise the name of the Lord hallelujah the power of the Holy Spirit helps us in prayer when we pray and we believe God and we hold fast to that which we believe no matter sometimes the pain rocking you you're saying yes, I believe in God and there's another voice said do master tomorrow morning you try run you try run you, you better go borrow our money and you say I believe in God because I see it in the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 14 we say heal me oh God and I shall be healed or I may be healed I shall 
shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved. For the word my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peter and John went down to Samaria. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit had not yet fallen on any of them. They were baptized. Hallelujah. But Philip was looking at after the, the salvation. Hallelujah. Preaching the word. But when Peter and John came, they came that they will receive the power. Power for service. Power to spread the gospel that you and I today. Hallelujah. Can receive the word. Hallelujah. Because if the disciples never go any further with it, where would we be today? Hallelujah. 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 This, this gospel cause Jesus Christ is very life. It must be spread far and wide. Can we bless the name of the Lord? Can we praise the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. So there came a time, hallelujah, Simon was watching what was going on and he saw the things that are happening. People are getting healing, lame and walk. I must say then, after for me something, then I do them something here. What I was doing, wasn't doing these things. This I look real. Hallelujah. This a real man, a real something, this, you know. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit had fall. But I was looking at the word the other day. And he said, look at it. Peter and John are lay hands on them and him are looking for buy before he just receive it. Hmm? But I realize you can't receive it unless you are genuine. If you see, if you if you not see, if you can't receive the Holy Spirit, because you have to be pure, purity. We that's why it is stressed that you you are sanctified, because when you are saved, Hallelujah, you reckon, realize that the root of sin still remains, but sanctification is the one that kills the root of sin which is in us. Hallelujah. It is the one that purges. Hallelujah. Purges us. Hallelujah. Kill the root of sin because if you don't pray, if you don't take fasting, after a time you see the sprout of sin start come back up. Hallelujah. That is why many persons turn away. It's not that they, they weren't saved. They were saved. But we need to teach, teach our people to seek to be sanctified so that the root of sin will die out. Can we praise the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Can we bless the name of the Lord? Simon said, that's something you look like me could have make a money a fight. It look like I can't do it your business when I'm gone. So if me pay money for, I'm mine. It's mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't go in this. Me can't go in the land business. Hallelujah. After, after the apostles gone. We can go around and lay a hand. Hallelujah. He was bright enough to say, We can get some to buy that anybody may lay my hand on. They may receive. That is why many persons today, many persons today, Hands are laid on them, but it's not from the power, from the Holy Ghost, which is the source of the Christian's power. 
and hence their life is in jeopardy hallelujah all sorts of hell breaking loose because the source of power hallelujah is wrong hallelujah hallelujah the source that the power comes from is not the genuine genuine holy spirit hallelujah 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 peter look at him and say man you and your money perish hallelujah because your thoughts are the gift of god it can be purchased with money 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 which is perishable look from the holy spirit exists from the beginning of time it's the same spirit that move upon the face of the water the holy spirit is the same spirit that entered the womb of mary the holy spirit is the same one that came down in the form of a dove and rested on jesus christ when he was being baptized are you want to be buy for money for money you want it to be bought for money you and your money perish look on the amount of money you scam from the people them and bewitch them and the same bewitch money you want to come hallelujah because you never repent genuine repentance hallelujah you never genuinely change hallelujah you just wet up yourself in a water you never change there was not a genuine change in you hallelujah can we bless the name of the lord when you are genuinely repented i know everything can just turn you over so sometimes you have to just when the things come at you you just take your time to swallow before you could even answer because sometimes you see when you take a little time to swallow the holy spirit will just come and comfort you don't say nothing no worry answer because sometimes we don't listen to the voice of the holy spirit so by somebody say if you say but can we praise the name of the lord can we praise the name of the lord we're talking about the holy spirit the source of our power jesus encouraged his disciple no go out there hallelujah no run yet wait for the engine don't no run out after you, 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 I'm gone. Me encourage you. I command you. I commission you. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. But no run off yet. Tarry first. Wait for the power. Wait for the endowment of the power. Wait for the engine of the church because if the holy spirit does not fill you up you cannot be effective you can't pass nothing for because you're gonna put on the bible and you're gonna roll up your sleeve The Holy Spirit, the source of the Christian's power. It is this power that will heal us. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost searches our heart. St. John 16 and verse 18. Verse 8 to 11. He convicts of sin, he regenerates. He bears witness. Romans chapter 8, 14 to 16. He adapts 
into the family of God. How many of us think we would have been here today if, if it was not for the Holy Spirit that draws us to God? We would never be seen. We could never receive God unless the Spirit draws us. So sometimes we see people there and their heart. We come, give the Holy Spirit a chance to draw them. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit gives victory in temptation. Romans chapter 8, verse 2. Hallelujah. Helps us in our prayer. The Holy Spirit fills the believers with joy, peace, and boldness. How many of us need the power of the Holy Ghost? The Holy Spirit sanctifies. The Holy Spirit quickens and heals our body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Comforts, counsels, and commands. Intercedes for the sins. The Holy Spirit illuminates and inspires. Searches and reveals the deep things of God. The Holy Spirit teaches it guides us into all truth hallelujah the holy spirit creates hallelujah empowers directs gospel work hallelujah the holy spirit confirms the gospel we are talking about the source of the Christian's power. Can we praise the name of the Lord? Yes. Hallelujah. Who can have this power? Every one of us as believers. Every one of us can be filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and with fire. It is necessary for all of us to receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We have to just hallelujah have a, we have to go before God with a need we have to need to be filled hallelujah we have to be washed we have to have the desire to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost praise the name of the Lord praise the name of Jesus today in closing, if we need the power for service, we need to just ask God. He will fill us. Hallelujah. As John, hallelujah, said to his disciples, there is one that coming after me who will fill you with the Holy Ghost. And with fire. Seek the Lord for the baptism of this power that is important in your life, in my life, in even our children's life. Because without the Holy Ghost, they will just go on. But when they are filled, you know that they can be filled. They can be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Let us pray for them. That they will receive the power, hallelujah, that runs the church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Many persons do not believe in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And yet they, are, they, they have churches. But I wonder, where are they going? Let us trust God for the, the fire, the power. We could not run a refrigerator without power, without electricity. The church cannot run without the power. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, Sister Ro. Tremendous word 
a word that is for the hour, a word that we all need, every single one of us in here. And it is true, sometimes there is no hungering and thirsting for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Any at all we hunger and thirst after the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it is certain that God our Father will allow every single one of us in here to receive this glorious baptism. Some of us were not able to overcome sin because the power that it takes to overcome sin is not there. God bless you again, Sister Carla. Tremendous word. Can we give the Lord another? <laughs> we, we need this baptism, everyone. And as you sit where you're sitting, you have listened to the word well put together, well researched, and presented with great boldness. Am I fully equipped to work the works of the Lord? Amen. Am I fully equipped? Have I received my baptism in the Holy Spirit? Am I under the dictates of the Holy Spirit? We're going to bow our hearts a little before the Lord. We want to pray according to the word that was sent. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome this place oh, Spirit Thou art welcome in this place I have need but ten Father of mercy and the grace thou art welcome in this before we go on I wonder if anybody sitting there might be thinking we are saying welcome inside this physical building. I'm, I'm, I want us to kind of think of the place as our heart. Praise God. As a body which is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Are we willing to go there by faith? With the initial evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives you utterance. It's a glorious place to be. You have power that you never dreamed of. Anointing that you never thought about. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Come in this place of me, potent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art with. Stand with me, everybody. I need 
We shout hallelujah in the house. Please, please pray a little softer, Brother Robert. We worship God a little. We worship our God a little. The Holy Spirit wants to sit upon us. But we have to participate. We worship our God. Can somebody truly open their heart, open their spirit, open their mouth? We worship you, Lord. Come on, say something. We worship you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in my heart, in my life. Fill me with your power. Come on, everybody. Your life will be different. There will be anointing resting on you. Demons have to back up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody not opening them out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, we're going to pray right where you're standing, seeking for a fresh infilling, not to go around like Simon the sorcerer, believing his money could purchase the most powerful being in the earth he is not for purchase but any heart that is has repented and bowing before the presence of the lord you're a recipient our hearts as it has been sanctified by his presence he will take up residence have thine own way lord Come on, church of the living God, daughters of Zion. The spirit of the Lord wants to sit in your soul, to sit upon you. Men in the church, brothers, your ministry will become more effective. Your prayer will have power. Come on, children, this is for you too. John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb. Oh yeah. Iba Sakata. And disqualified him to be the herald. The one who announced the coming of Christ. He's looking for more John the Baptist. 
that will proclaim the second coming and you must be baptized in the Holy Spirit and with fire. Can we bow our hearts, everybody? Can we lift our prayers? We worship you today, Lord. We honor you today, great King. We love you this hour. We love you this hour. We love you, dear Lord. Come on, everybody. Come on, children. This is prayer time. Everybody up here should be breathing a word of prayer. Please close your eyes, children. This is a solemn moment in the house of the Lord. Fill me up. Fill me up. Come on, mothers. This is for you as well. Hallelujah. John, who wrote Revelation, was in his 90s when he said, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Ah, the young and the old, men and women. Shh, hallelujah. 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 Shh. Yeah, God. Shh. Yes, Holy One of Israel. Hallelujah. Come on, children. Pray, pray, pray. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. My God, hallelujah, hallelujah, we receive you, Lord, we receive you, Lord, we receive you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes. We praise him, everybody. Come on, we praise the Lord. When you praise God, he comes near to us. Hallelujah. 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 Shh. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Keta ta ta ya ba 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 ba. Praise the Lord. Hey, If you're true praying, can you just lift a hand and worship the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Just wave it. Can somebody shout glory? Come on. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we proclaim hallelujah? Can the saints proclaim hallelujah? Can everybody proclaim hallelujah? Can the children up here proclaim hallelujah? Come on, children were in the temple in Jerusalem shouting hosanna. 
Can we hear the children saying hallelujah? Come on, all of you up here, can we hear you shout hallelujah? Glory be to God. Some people wanted to stop them, but Jesus said, let them alone. Don't stop them. For if they stop saying hallelujah or jumping around, the rocks are going to be crying out. Some people don't want to release praise. And you could get your victory a long time. But you're just holding back that which can bring deliverance. If you praise God, you come out of the situation. Can we shout hallelujah? That is still we. Can we shout hallelujah? Can everybody shout hallelujah? Everybody again, hallelujah. You can praise God and you get your healing. Just by praising God. Ah yeah, can we shout hallelujah in the house? One nation just walk out on the battlefield and praise God. And it turn the other enemy nation them against the one another. You know once say God do something for you. Can we shout hallelujah in the house of God? Come on, can we shout hallelujah? I'll know some people not believe a word that I'm saying. Can we shout hallelujah in the house? 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 Oh God, if two persons would stand up with me in here today and just consistently worship God, you get your deliverance. Before we have the handing out of this, the certificate, Sister Fowlin will be coming to do just that. But I am going to pray for the students who will be sitting, um, you know, CXC have already begun and I think that those who will be sitting the PEP exams will be this coming month and so we know we've been praying for our children here at Allison and they've been doing exceptionally well. You with me? The children from this church and others too but we really want to thank God for what God is doing here in Alisa. Teachers are coming out, lawyers, doctors, you name them, architects. We want some pilots now, and we want some, you know, other, what God Almighty is doing, technicians, all kind of people are coming out of Alisa. Right? Pharmacists, people who train in other disciplines and they are going places. You, you don't know how many educated people God is raising up. And not only educated, but people with certain wisdom that God is raising up in this little place. I want somebody to agree with me that our children who have walked through these doors, they are going to be successful. They are going to be some of the best pastors. They are going to be some of the best nurses. All the disciplines that they are going to choose, they are going to excel. Anybody in agreement with me? All right, so if you have a son or a daughter or a cousin or a grandson or a granddaughter, who will be sitting there CXC, they might have gone through some already, and you have prayed for them. Because you have to pray for them as well. And you have your grandchildren going on next month to do their PEP exams. You're going to believe God. And probably your feet might be a little tired. Sit where you're at. Just sit down and exercise your faith. Some people you can't tell them say they're not saved because they exercise their faith for salvation. But some people they can't exercise it for nothing else. The same faith you use to get saved, you can't use if you get your healing. And get other things from God. 
Nobody can tell you say you're not saved. But somehow you can actualize that same faith and get anything else. Believe for your daughter. Believe for your grandson that God going to raise up that boy and he's going to be somebody in another five, ten years from now. You're going to wonder if I him. Can your son really rise up to be that? Some of you are not even certain if your son can come up and be anything. When I say anything, somebody special, your daughter can rise up and be the best lawyer. Right from right here in Allison. Tell them they can become that. Amen. 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 Some people are saying amen and they're not even certain. Say all of these children up here, they are bright children and they are going to go places. Let's look to God. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Our God, our Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come near this hour before your glorious presence, Lord. Thank you that you have spoken again to your daughter, Sister Ro, telling us about the third member of the divine trinity, how much we need him in our life on a daily basis. Let us not stop desiring more of the Holy Spirit in our lives, O oh God. For without this being, without this third member of the divine trinity, we cannot excel and we cannot receive all that you want us to receive in our Christian journey. So let your word, Lord, come back afresh to our mind, to our spirit, so that even going home, we will find time to spend some more time before you, seeking you until you come and reign righteousness in our soul. Put your hand upon Sister Carla another time, Lord, because we believe you're going to take her places. You're going to take both she and her husband to new heights, Lord, as you shape them, as you mold them, and as you plant your word within their heart, cover their entire family, my God. Their children, bless the rose, bless the entire family, and help them, God, to be provided for as they avail themselves for your work. We pray for our children from the Allison Assembly. Every child that belongs to any member of this fellowship. Some might be a grandson. Some might be a granddaughter. Some might even be a cousin, a niece, a nephew. We pray this hour that the guiding hand of Almighty God will rest upon these children, O oh God. Breathe upon them. Help them to do well in their upcoming exams, O oh God. Give them victory. Let them walk into the exam room with boldness, with confidence, Lord, and allow them to follow the rule that the invigilator will not mark them down or will not destroy their exam papers, but they will follow the rule. They will go in knowing that prayer was offered upon their behalf. That they have a grandmother. That they have a mother or an uncle or an aunt. Or a daddy who is on their knees praying, Lord, for their success. For we know that true, through education and the blessings of God upon their lives, they will mount up with wings as eagles. And they will run and not be weary. 
they will rub shoulder with princes and they will sit in the presence oh God of those who are in high office they too will walk into those offices with every confidence knowing that they have a godly foundation we commit our children from the Allison assembly our young men some of them are at college even now some have finished and are doing very well let the mantle of blessing Oh God, wrap around these children. Even those who sung on the choir. Some of them are quite young. They might not even be aware of what they've been participating in. But wrap a mantle of blessing around these children. Preserve them in the going out. Preserve them in the coming in. Protect them at the home from electricity and every poisonous substances. And let the covering of Almighty God rest upon every single one of them. Those who are from here who are not yet saved, let the power of God reach their soul. Bring them to the foot of the cross where they will acknowledge Jesus Christ as their Lord. We pray for those who will be sitting the PEP exams. We pray they will do well at school, God. Not only in their exams, but in their general lessons. They're going on holiday break in another month or so. We ask for divine covering over every one of them, Lord. Cover them for us. Cover them for we're not going to be with them every hour of the day. But you have every resources. You can even send angels, Lord, to be vigil around them. Take the children of this assembly, Lord. Those who might have low self-esteem. Help them to know you love them, God. And that's what matters. Because the creator of the universe loves each of them. They need to walk with that in their spirit. And it doesn't matter who else might not show that great love for them and appreciation because you care for each of them, God. I pray this will be transmitted to their young hearts. Take over this day, Lord. Cover all of us. Thank you for such a glorious day. And as we go through with just one or two more exercises, we ask that you will be with us. And continue to cover them, dear children, whom you have sent into this world for your own glory. For we ask these mercies in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we say praise the Lord, everybody? And one more time. Hallelujah. We're going to be doing a dedication, but that will be done after Sister Tanika is through. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord as we continue to celebrate this, our child's month. And as we celebrate as a Sunday school, there are some students who we would like to give awards to this afternoon. And I'm going to ask the teachers, Sister Debbie, Deacon Thomas, Sister Madge, Mother Coke. I need about five Sunday school teachers to stand and assist with the presentation of these certificates. And for those of you who don't, you may not remember, or you don't know, we have six classes present Sundays. For Sunday school, we have the beginner's class, the primary class, the junior, the new converts, the intermediate, and the adult class. So there's a class for every single age group, even the newborn baby straight up to 152 so please make your way out Sundays 8 a.m. it's really really trust me it is an experience 
So I'm inviting all of you out Sunday mornings, 8 a.m. I know you might be saying that's just the time you're going to roll over for the next level. You're going to level up for the next boat asleep, but trust me, you're missing out on something. Okay, for the beginner's class, the awardees are as follows. Leonie Osborne. I'm going to ask the beginner teacher, where's Sister Debbie? Oh, Sister Madge, your presence, please. Thank you so much. So I'm going to ask that you wait until the end before you give everybody a round of applause. Okay, Sister Madge. Okay, beginner's class, Leonie Osborne for being the most outstanding student and for best attendance. Go down, Leone, baby. Hey. Where's the cameraman? Sister Tash, camera crew, who's taking the photographs? Okay, Sister Ashley, thank you. Okay. Next, we have beginner's class, awardee, Nicardo Bailey for being the most outstanding student in offering. Where's Nicardo? Oh, there comes brother, you see? I told you, you know, there is a, a class for every age group. Look at Brother Bailey. Look at Brother Bailey. Put your hands together for Brother Bailey. Okay, Brother Nick. There you go, sweetie. And he's one of the early birds, you know, because he comes with daddy. So he's always here. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, primary class. Awardee Jefton Irving for being the most outstanding student in offering. Jefton. Where's brother Jefton? Come, Jeffy. Make your little way down, sweetie. Come, honey. It's nothing bad. Okay, Jefton. Deacon Thomas, you're up. Thank you so much, Sister Madge. Come, Jefton, sweetie. You can come with your award. Come back and show your friends. Come this way, baby. There you go. Okay, still with the primary class, we have Kelsian Wellington for most outstanding attendance. Kelsian, come Kelly Boo. Go on, Kelsian. There you go, baby. Put your hands together for Kelly. Very good, Kelsian. Okay, awardees for the junior class, we have Kiana Henry for being the most outstanding student in offering. Lady Kiana Henry. Congrats, Kiana. Thank you, sweetie. Junior class, Leandra Osborne for being the most outstanding student and for best attendance. Leandra, Leandra, Leandre, okay. Pastor Leandre Osborne, all right, Leandre, darling, beautiful. All right, beautiful. Mother Cook, thank you so much, Deacon. Okay, we're moving on to the new converts class. We have Caricia McLean for most outstanding attendance. Caricia. Congratulations, Caricia. Okay, Caricia. Still with the new converts class, we have Jordan Davis for most outstanding attendance. Jordan. Congratulations, Jordan. Oh, 
Okay, and the final new convert, Gabrielle McKenzie, for being the most outstanding student. Lady Gabrielle. <laughs> Congratulations, Gabrielle. Sister Latoya, please. Next group of awardees. I don't see Sister Debbie. Okay, we are moving on to the intermediate class. Awardee Patricia Rowe for being the most outstanding student in offering and for best attendance. Lady Rowe, put your hands together for Lady Patricia. Still with the intermediate class, we have Tashina Pusey for being the most outstanding student. Tashina. Hey, Tashi. And our final awardee this afternoon comes from the adult class. And we're going to ask Pastor to give, present this one. Thank you so much, Lady Osborne. We're going to ask Pastor to make this award to Angela Blake for being the most outstanding student in offering and for best attendance. Big up, Sister Lico. Congratulations, Sister Blake. And that ends our awardee section. Um, put your hands together for all the awardees, all the teachers, our superintendent, Sister Ro. And remember, we're inviting everyone out this Sunday, God willing, for another fantastic Sunday school at the Assemblies of the First Born here in Allison. Moving on to some notices. There will be a cake sale. To all the members of the church and the community, the cake sale is still on. And Sister Andrea, okay, she will be coming around to distribute the cakes. And she asks for your continued support as it is for the work of the Lord. Thanks in advance. That's for the cake sale. And also another notice, read the Bombay Rally that will be held this evening. Young people will practice after church, and the dress code is red and white. Red and white. Yes, I, I really want to thank the members of the Sunday School staff members. They are doing a tremendous job, and we really want to put our hands together. Thank you. Sister Tanika, thank you, Sister Carla, and of course, Sister Coke, Sister Madge, Deacon Thomas, all the Sunday school personnel, Sister Marie, ensuring that Sister Osborne, Sister Brown, Sister Debbie, and Sister, Sister Tasha, Brother Jason and I think Brother Brother Bailey helped to you know helping at the background. All of you are members, and for those of you who have been attending, and um, I think I need to get one of those certificates. I mean, I go see what we can do. <laughs> but it is really good, and I really congratulate every one of you. Um, just to say here, beloved, I don't know if you have all heard that we have lost one of our senior members, one of our sister who would have worked tirelessly here. Her husband went to be with the Lord some years ago. That is um, Deacon Leslie Letts. But it is her time. That is our mother, Lucy Letts. She made her transition about two or so days ago. Yes, so... We're looking at the Thanksgiving service for the 11th of June. I'm going to be giving them a date at a time. But I think that's a day when I don't think we have anything set for that date. 
And so we're going to ask the saints to let us prepare. I think they are seeking to get some help with the catering, those who are people of the kitchen. But we'll talk more on that. But so please pray. Um, I think Sister Mary will be coming sometimes in the coming week. And so whatever support, encouragement you can give, please. Remember, these are some people who, some of you younger ones you may not know, but they have worked. I, I remember just yesterday, Deacon Daya and myself, we were talking and Deacon Daya was saying, boy, Sister Lucille was a woman who always loved to sweep. Say, I left nothing not there, she will sweep same way. So we really have to celebrate these people who have labored. Some of you come now and you see a lovely place, but there were persons before us who labored and come here with the tilly lamps and ensure that church was kept. So we, when the time come for them to go home, we want to come out. We don't want to say, well, I never somebody were used to hold the mic. And everyone and we are going to hold mic. But they work in the background. And so we want to come out, choirs, everybody. We want to come out and just celebrate her home going. All right, everybody? All right, so we have another couple here. Two young, beautiful people whom God has blessed and with another member of their family beautiful baby and we want to thank God for both of you the McClymans and I'm going to invite you both to come on up you are both married so you don't have to come up and feel afraid if and say if I come with baby come dedicate we're going to say oh no we're married so come up boldly give God thanks and we hope that like how Anna how Anna dedicate give Samuel and the Lord bless her with five more. People are listening for here when me I go say. You, you listen, man. Me not say anything more. But but I shared the other day, sir and ma'am. So sister Wendy, you are the um daddy. You get a good godmother. So you don't have any godfather in here? Is it is okay. Yes, yes. And if you look around and see anybody, you can still ask them after this. The more Godfather I have, I better. All right. But, Virgin, we really want to celebrate with this young couple. And I know you've been praying for them. And um, Sashani's came through quite successfully, and we thank God. When I know you parents would have been listening to what has happened in Texas, I don't know which parent could listen that news and your eyes is not filled with tears. You sent your child, your little seven, nine, ten year old son or daughter to a school only to hear that an 18 year old with high powered rifle enter that classroom, the very classroom that your son and your daughter was actually in. You think that is nice? And you are on the outside hearing shots firing in there. And the police officers are outside not breaking down the door to go. You think that is nice? And when the smoke cleared, 19 of those children were murdered. And, and, and parents were all over not knowing. They go to the hospital, they can't find. I saw one father and she's, the father said, I'm not going to stop until I find my daughter. I, I just see the, the pain. Huh? How people can be so heartless. Those little defenseless life, they never even have a, a, a public of them pain they have. It no must be demon that get hold of that boy. Why are the children them in Pecan? The little defenseless children, why you never go up, up down to Ukraine or go down to Russia? And tell Putin, say, we well, go fight in a war. Why you never do that? The little children, them that not even know what was happening, they were murdered. No wonder, parents, you have to keep praying for your children. Can you stand with me everywhere? Can we just worship God on behalf of what He's doing in Alisa? One more addition to the Alisa family and to the church. 
around the throne of God in heaven thousands of children whose sins are all for a holy happy Glory, glory, sing in glory, 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 glory. God bless you, saints. You may be seated, please. Really want to thank God again for both of your parents. Um, Sister Wendy, come come round here. Them, I think they're going to make you get a whole lot for the baby win. All right. Um, really want to thank God. When a life is given to a couple, it should be celebrated. This life should be celebrated. You, you have this little baby here, um, sir and ma'am, and none of you have any clue. You could be holding the next prime minister. This little boy you see here could be the next prime minister years to come. We don't know. Could be the pastor of this very same church. There is so much possibility when a life is sent into the world. And only God, who knows exactly why he has sent this baby, he alone knows. And therefore, we have to dedicate, give back the child to the Lord and ask for his divine covering. And so, mothers, fathers, I'm going to invite every one of you right where you're sitting. While I will be praying a dedicatory prayer, I'm asking that you also lift up, thank you, Deacon, a very special prayer too for this baby. All right, so we have here a little young man who has been blessed with two Bible names, Malachi Daniel McClymond. And it shows that the parents have great plans if they can take two Bible names and assign it to him. So we're going to look to God. We're going to believe God. Our God, our Father, in the exalted name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we lift up young Malachi Daniel McClymond before you this hour. The parents have brought him to be dedicated to you, Lord. We're therefore asking that you will put your hand upon this little boy. Just as Anna dedicated young Samuel to you, Lord, we're asking that he will be dedicated to you as of this very last Sunday in the month of May. You will mark him for your glory. You will put a mark upon young Malachi's life, Lord, so that he will be a blessing. He will not be carried away with the others in the community, but his young life, Lord, will begin to be bent toward the things of righteousness. I pray for his preservation. I pray for his protection. I pray you will touch him intellectually so that he will excel when he's on the road, Lord. We ask that he will be divinely protected 
When he is at his home, he will be divinely protected, Lord. You will guide him. You will cover him. And every plan that the enemy is setting up against him, Lord, you will demolish, you will destroy, and you will bless him so that he will be blessed. I pray for his parents and I pray for the God-parent or the God-parents, Lord, that they will continue to influence this young life. You will give them the wisdom, the maturity to guide young Malachi, that he will go in the way that he must go so that when he is old, he will not depart. The training will not depart from him. Bless the McClyman's family, Lord. Every plan of hell that might be released against them, you will rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You will build bulwarks around them, walls, Lord, that cannot be broken. And you will let this family grow from strength to strength. Touch Sister Ashley and the other person who will be giving support. Help that as they share their wisdom, it will be useful and beneficiary to the growth of young Malachi. Take over the lives of all of them. Lead Malachi in the way he must go. Again, let your presence be felt in the home. Let your presence be established in the home. And let the covering of Almighty God be upon the entire family. Hallelujah. 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 Guide them, O thou great Jehovah. For they are indeed pilgrims through this barren land. They are weak, but thou art mighty. Hold them in your powerful hand. Take over now, God. Take over now as we deliver this child into your hand. For we ask these mercies in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. And everybody shout, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With the authority vested in me as the minister in charge. I now dedicate young Malachi Daniel McClymond in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Blessed Holy Spirit to the honor and to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. He too stopped for a while and listened to the pronouncement as if he knew exactly what was happening. Can we give the Lord a clap offering, everybody? Can we stand everywhere? Is there anybody coming to do a vote of thanks? Anybody, Sister Carla, Sister? Anybody for a vote of thanks? Well, God bless you, everyone. Thanks again to the Sunday School Department and all the children, some of you. And I know it is to be expected. You could not all sit still. The adults have problem doing it, but some of you really, you know, you, you came up here, you, you sat at your seat and you behaved so maturely. I have to see with the others because, you know, but they never behave, oh, I mean, overly beyond. And so we really want to thank God for our young people. Can we give them a hand, everybody? God bless you again, everyone. Can we stand as we bring this service to a close? We were having prayer meetings, and it is still ongoing, but I'm going to reaffirm that we roll off officially again. We have done one year of prayer, and we did some fasting in it, where at 12, we didn't eat again until we go home after the prayer meeting. Um, Virgin, I'm going to invite you to make an effort. I received tremendous blessing.
my family actually was blessed and others who participated received tremendous blessing we're going to be meeting here at five in the evening and we go through with prayers until about seven then we go home but on Wednesday, we'll be having our Bible study starting at 7 o'clock, and it ends at 9. Brethren, coming out Sunday is good, but you should make an effort to come out in the week. Please, even one of the weekdays, you come out, and you might can come Monday to Wednesday, but try and make it one evening. This is your church, and anything happens here will impact you some way or another. To God be the glory, great things he had done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded atonement for sin and open the life gate that all may go in praise the lord praise the lord let, let the earth hear his voice Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory. Great things he had done and now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God the Father the fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit the Comforter rest remain and abide with us all both now and forevermore amen God bless you everybody um, Sister Madge, don't leave yet, Sister Vera.